conservative wickedness versus liberal wickedness. You know, I've told you this before, but I'm not picking on Rush Limbaugh. He's a dying man, but he represents the voice of conservatism. You know, for his wedding a few years ago, he had Elton John, the man that said it's okay to have sex with goats, come sing at his wedding. Do you know George Bush had the same Elton John come sing at his second inaugural address and spend the night in the White House? Do you know that? You know the first president of the United States to invite a council of sodomites to the White House was George Bush Sr.? People say, boy, I'm saddened by the newly elected president. I've been grieved by the presidents of the last 20 years of my life. I've been looking for one to stand up for righteousness, and I ain't never seen it in my lifetime. My, my heart breaks for my nation. God's people better get some discernment about him. It's high time someone preach this message. I'm not uncomfortable preaching it because it's exactly the truth, and it's imperative that we hear it. People sit around from sunup to sundown watching conservative news networks. And the same, and they're not, it's not getting any better. It's not getting any, it's just, look, be good if we lost all that stuff and we get back to our Bible. So how are we going to know what's going on? Right here. The Word of God. And we know that the Son of God has come and it's given us what? An understanding that we may know Him that is true. And we are in Him that is true. Even in His Son, Jesus Christ, this is the true God and eternal life. Look at verse 21. Little children, keep yourselves from idols. So what about American Idol? What about any idol? We idolize men. You know what that means? We hold them up as standards of truth and we accept what they say without checking what they say. You say, what do you mean by that? Here's what I mean by it. There is a website. It's been changed now. It's, a, it's now it's called Achun. Or it goes by the words A-C-U-N, K-U-N. At one point, it was Infinichan or Infinity Chan, stylized as Chan, is an image board website composed of user created message boards. So the user can come on and create their own message board. A lot of stuff about this thing that I don't need to get into. And I don't know that everything that I read about it is true or not, but, the, but this, this channel has been proven to host. Child, pornogra child pornography websites and so forth like that. Um, that's been proven. 8chan was created in October 2013 by computer programmer Frederick Brennan. He's better known by his alias of Hot Wheels. Brennan created the website after observing what he perceived to be rapidly escalating surveillance and loss of free speech on the internet. Originally, he said the site was conceptualized while he was experiencing a psychedelic mushroom trip. He had no experience or programming knowledge is necessary to be on this thing and with Brent, which Brennan created, which he imagined while he was under the influence of a psychedelic mushroom trip. Brennan agreed to partner 8chan with the Japanese message board 2channel and subsequently relocated to the Philippines in October of 2014. In January of 2015, the site changed its domain after multiple people filed reports complaining that 8chan's register that the message board hosted child pornography. Despite subsequently regaining the domain, the site remained at, uh, uh, with the old domain redirecting to it. Later on, it was turned over to a man named Jim Watkins and his son Ron. He cited the failure of the Infinity Next project and disillusionment with 8chan had become as reason. So uh, this fellow Watkins and his son Ron began to take over and run the helm of this so-called channel. 
With Watkins at the helm, he had continued to grow and to bud and to grow forth. And in uh, September of 18th of 2014, 8chan became entangled in the Gamergate controversy after 4chan banned discussion of Gamergate, whereupon 8chan became one of the several hubs for Gamergate activity. 8chan's initial Gamergate-oriented board also gained attention after being compromised by members of the internet troll group Gay Nigger Association of America. Forcing Gamergate activists to migrate to Gamergate, this replacement quickly became the site's second most accessed board. You say, what does that mean? That's, not, that's nonsense is what all that is. But hold on, I'm not done yet. Boards that have been created to discuss topics such as child rape, while the sharing of illegal content is against site rules, the Daily Dot wrote that the boards do exist to share sexualized images of minors in provocative poses, and that some users of these boards do post links to explicit child pornography hosted elsewhere. When asked whether such boards were an inevitable result of free speech, Brennan responded, unfortunately, yes, I don't support the content on the boards you mentioned, but it's simply the cost of free speech and being the only active site to not impose more laws than those that were passed in Washington, D.C. So he's saying that, yes, as a result of me not imposing laws or restricting free speech, yes, my domain is used to promote child pornography. No apology. That's his statement. In August of 2015, 8chan was blacklisted from Google search for what Google des described as content constituting suspected child abuse content. In July of 2016, U.S. presidential candidate Donald Trump tweeted an image of Hillary Clinton with a background of money and a six-pointed star which resembled the Star of David containing the message, most corrupt candidate ever. That image had been posted to 8chan's board as early as June 22nd. It originated from there and it was propagated on Donald Trump's Twitter board. During 2018, a user on this message board that admitted to helping promote child pornography arose from the dark. Anonymous user, referred to himself as Q, known far and wide to Christians today as QAnon, which has evolved into a religion among God's people, a worship of QAnon. His word is greater than the word of Christians. Some people think that it could be Watkins. Is QAnon? No one knows. He's anonymous. But yet, professing Christians will argue the man of God, will argue the word of God because of the prophecies which primarily all have fallen by the wayside. But where did Q get his beginning? On a web page board which help to promote child pornography. Q gained attention and promoted conspiracy theories about the deep state, eventually leading to an international movement. Sean Hannity has retweeted QAnon's hashtags on Twitter, on his Twitter feed, Twitter feed. With the flood of new users on the board, Q asked one of the website owners, Ron Watkins, to upgrade the website server board in order to accommodate all of the board's website traffic on September 19th of 2018, the Pizzagate conspiracy theory was started by Q. No doubt in my mind, Hollywood is full of vile, filthy reprobates. No doubt about it. But the very person that's supposed to be outing them is most likely one of them. And if he's not one of them, then the message board that he's used to promote himself is known, admittedly, for allowing the promotion of child pornography. Watkins himself got in trouble in Japan for promoting and, prop and, and peddling Japanese pornography in Japan. You say, well, he may or may not be Q. He may or may not. Well, he is one of the leading players 
in the web board that launched QAnon. You say, well, who is he, Anonymous? You know who Anonymous is? Nobody. But yet, a nobody has taken preeminence. Little children, keep yourselves from idols. Little children, keep yourselves from idols. Wow. How could the New Testament church in the 21st century, the spirit of Antichrist is already work? Thessalonica, look, look at the Bereans. Thessalonica and Christians are over there whooping and hollering, amen in the preaching. Yes, preach it. Boy, I love old, Pri I love Paul. Man, he preaches. Look at the, look at the Bereans. Why? Because they're listening to Paul preach and they go home and look in the Bible to see what Paul preached, whether or not it was true or not. Yeah, but man, we love him. He's God's man. God said, I don't care who he is. You compare what he says with my word. Now, if God would say about the church at Berea that they're more noble than the church at Thessalonica and they, got, they both got the same preachers and the same teachers and the same apostles commissioned by God and God says they're more noble because they don't even trust my men. You say, I think we ought to trust people. Well, you don't agree with this book right here. You compare the voice of everybody with that book right there. There are people I know that follow certain preachers, and you know what? I've yet to see a preacher that didn't change his views. They'll fight you. Bless God, I love that man. Oh, good. But you better watch him today, yesterday, today, and tomorrow, because he'll change. Curtis Hudson himself said, I hate to listen to myself preach 10 years ago. Because I've learned some things in 10 years. Now sometimes that's good. Sometimes it's bad. Because people depart from the truth. If a man once stood up and said, I believe that King James Bible is the word of God, and all of a sudden he stands up later on and says, well, you know what? If you study the Greek and you really get intelligent and study it, you'll find out that the Greek corrects the King James. You know what? Quit listening to it. Amen. Or at least quit following him. Or at least don't make him an idol. Yeah. Never should have been an idol anyway. Little children, keep yourselves from idols. You know who was writing that? John the Beloved, the last of the living apostles. If there ever was a man that could have been idolized, it would have been John, the disciple whom Jesus loved. Some people say he lived to be a words of 120 years old. People could have revered John, but do you know what John was saying? He said, don't listen to me. You listen to God. There are many false prophets. There are many false prophets already going out in the world. The spirit of Antichrist has already worked. Listen. Listen. Compare the scriptures. Well, if I read my Bible right, I'm out of time. But you can read it in Deuteronomy 13. I, I will read you one scripture. I will give you one here. Isaiah 8.20 To the law and the testimony, if they speak not according to his word, it is because there is no light in them. You know what the Bible said in Deuteronomy 13? If a man make a prophecy it doesn't come to pass, don't listen to him. And then it teaches that you ought to kill him. You know why I don't make prophecies? Because I like living. But yet, these internet anonymous voices can make prophecies. You say, well, well, that's okay. I still believe them. See, that's what's wrong with Christianity. That's why the Bible says there will come a great falling away.